songwriting process, back to music. Do you have like a particular thing you do all the time or just... I don't know, like, typically like in a lot of my music, like the, like, the instruments follow the melody. And so a lot of times I'll just be sitting around playing piano or guitar or something. And like with the chords, I'll start putting melody in it. And then just like, kind of like words and the whole idea just kind of forms, you know? I think it's one of those things that I've done it for so long that it just, you kind of get to where it's, it's not like you get an idea. For me, I don't get an idea and then write. I sit down and I just, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna decide to write a song and it comes. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, like writing is like playing guitar or it's like the more you practice, the better you get at it. You know what I mean? Well, your lyrics are very deep, and I must add, I think, honestly, you are the most talented musician I've ever met out of anybody. I and I am complete. No, I think that you have the I, most music experience that I've ever met. Very talented. I've never seen anything very, that you can't Very, very talented. Play. I, honestly, that's, that's my... God truth. bless this child. <laughs> that was very sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you. What was the truth? <laughs> well, don't make me blush on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, now time for some what would you rather. Now I must Oh, now this ask. is... This is where we excel. If you guys okay. are prepared for these questions, oh, because they so are pretty good. intense. He's so prepared. Are you, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty intense. Okay. Would you rather have toothpicks shoved up your nails or stuff on a porcupine? Dang. Yeah. I'd, I'd go with the porcupine. See? <laughs> I think I would too. Really? Yeah, because I, I just, my hands, like, I mean, like, uh, I just, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I, the porcupine. I think I could use my hands well. Exactly. You could be in a wheelchair. You could be in a wheelchair for a couple of weeks. Well, I, but I'll tell you this, don't try either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> or try both. Or try, if you do try them, try both. Oh. Don't cross each other out. You'll be fine, I promise. <laughs> Now, Anyways. I want to ask you, would you rather shower old people or dress dead people? Dress dead people. Dress dead people. Any reason why? Or? <laughs> well, usually by they're that time... They're not going to respond to you. <laughs> they're not going to respond. Good point. And number two, uh, by that time, everything's out of their body, you know? And I've heard... I had a fr uh, one of, I've got a friend that used to uh, do that. Ooh. Like at a nursing home. Mm -hmm. some crazy stories. Yeah, see, I would think it would cut down on the awkwardness. Dressing dead people would just wouldn't be as awkward. Showering old people, it would just be weird. Well, my friend that did that said he, like, when he started the job, he started ironing everything. Everything looked wrinkled like old people. Oh. <laughs> I'm just teasing. That was such a good joke, and I messed it up. I'm sorry. Anyways, okay. Uh, would you rather <laughs> have uncontrollable hair or uncontrollable arms? Like, hair that just grows like crazy. Or just, like, crazy arms. All the time. I'd go with hair. I'd okay. go with crazy arms. Crazy arms? Because you I've never hair too I've, much? No, I've never seen that. I think it'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go with hair. No. Any reason why? I mean, I guess you I can wear like a hat. You could just keep, keep doing something. I hear crazy you. Maybe. Your hair's pretty crazy. Can we get a can we get a zoom in? Pretty gross and random. Yes. Morning. Closer. Closer. Haven't showered. Okay. Haven't showered in a look while. Look at the camera. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> rain. Leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now, would you rather? Ooh, let's pick one. Be able to fly or be invisible on command. Very good superpower right there. I would have to say, um, there's been a lot of uh, comics and movies about people flying, and there's only been one invisible man. I'd go on I would think that that would be really cool. Yeah, I, can I mean, I've definitely... Top secret missions yeah, the government. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You could just disappear, you could disappear, yeah. go into people's house and eat food, and you never have to work again. You could just wander the earth. Invisible. Okay. But it really sucks if somebody didn't see it, and they were like, weed eating or something. Or, you know, like you fall asleep in somebody's lawn. Not that this would ever happen. This has <laughs> never happened to me, I promise. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I'm just, we'll go there. Just be really careful when you're invisible, people. And I'm going to finish it off with one last question. I'm going to get a good one. Would you rather have a theme song play to all of your actions, every single action, or have your whole life narrated by someone with a list? I've got a theme, theme I've got to say theme song. I, uh, if you had said uh, like James and Old Jones or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
Samuel Jackson. Mor Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I've seen, I get Samuel I'd have Jackson Morgan Freeman movies all the time. I apologize. Depends on the theme. <laughs> no, but I Morgan Freeman, if you would have said that. Have you ever watched Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman? Um, I've heard of it, but never actually. Blow your mind. So I'll, I'll look it up. Check and book. Oh, I have Shark Week I've, I've heard of. Set your DVR. It starts tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Really? I ain't even joking. Discovery? I get scared. Discovery Channel? Discovery. Discovery Channel. It's, or, is it Discovery or Nat Geo? I think it's Discovery. Try both of them. Shark Maybe week. check them both out. Shark Week happens Animal Plan. with all channels. Okay. Do you know they do like Mythbusters and like all the all the shows on that? It is Discovery. All yeah. the shows on that, they do a shark theme. Really? They did last year. I'm praying wow. for it this year. We're praying for it this year. Well, that wraps up our interview. Thank you so much, Caleb. Thank you so much, Nick Smith. Oh, hey. This is the Jettison Whiskey Nick. Peace, love, and Whiskey Nick.